Hey guys, we're here today for our reading of December 13th. This is Hosea 11, 12, 13, 14. Revelation 3, 14 to 22. Psalm 133. And Proverbs 29, 24 and 25. So here are the final 11, 12, 13, 14. Four chapters of Hosea. When Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I called my son. The more they were called, the more they went away. They kept sacrificing to the Baals and burnt and burning offerings to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to, to walk. I took them up by their arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I led them with cords of kindness, with the bands of love, and I became to them as one who eases the yoke on their jaws, and I bent them, and I bent down to to them and fed them. They shall not return to the land of Egypt, but Assyria shall be their king, because they have refused to return to me. The sword shall rage against their cities, consume the bars of their gates, and devour them because of their own counsels. My people are bent on turning away from me, and though they call out to the Most High, they sh he shall not raise them up. How can I give you up, O Ephraim? How can I hand you over, O Israel? How can I make you like Adma? How can I treat you like Zeboim? My heart recoils within me. My compassion grows warm and tender. I will not execute my burning anger. I will not destroy Ephraim, for I am God and not a man, the Holy One in your midst, and I will not come in wrath. They shall go after the Lord. He will roar like a lion. When he roars, his children shall come trembling from the west. They shall come trembling like birds from Egypt and like doves from the land of Assyria. And I will return them to their homes, declares the Lord. Ephraim has surrounded me with lies and the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah still walks with God and is faithful to the Holy One. Chapter 12. Ephraim feeds on the wind and pursues the east wind all day long. They multiply falsehood and violence, and they make, they make a covenant with Assyria, and oil is carried to Egypt. The Lord, has an the Lord has an indictment against Judah, and will punish Jacob according to his ways. He will repay him according to his deeds. In the womb he took his brother by the heel, and in his manhood he, in his manhood he strove with God. He strove with the angel and prevailed. He wept and sought his favor. He met God at Bethel. And there God spoke with us. The Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord is his memorial name. So you, by the help of your God, return. Hold fast to, to love and justice and wait continually for your God. A merchant in whose hands are false balances he loves, he loves to oppress. A merchant in whose hands are false balances he loves to oppress. Uh, Ephraim has said, Ah, but I am rich. I have found wealth for myself. In all my labors they cannot find in me iniquity or sin. I am the Lord your God. From the land of Egypt I will make you dwell in tents, as in the days of the appointed feasts. The appointed feast. I spoke to the prophets, and it was I who multiplied visions, and, th and through the prophets gave parables. If there is iniquity in Gilead, they shall surely come to nothing. In Gilgal they sacrifice bulls. Their altars are like are like stone heaps on the furrows of the field. Jacob fled to the land of Aram. There Israel served for a wife, and for a wife he guarded sheep. By a prophet the Lord brought Israel up from Egypt, and by a prophet he was guarded. Ephraim has given bitter provocation, so his Lord will leave his blood guilt on him, and will repay him for his disgraceful deeds. Chapter 13 when Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He was exalted in Israel, and but he incurred guilt through Baal and died. And now they sin more and more and make for themselves metal images, idols skillfully made of their silver, all of them the work of craftsmen. It is said of them, those who offer human sacrifice kiss calves. Therefore they shall be like the morning mist or like the dew that goes early away, like the chaff that swirls from the threshing floor or like smoke from a window. But I am the Lord your God. From the land of Egypt, you know no God but me, and besides me there is no Savior. It was I who knew you in the wilderness, in the land of drought, but when they had grazed, they became full. They were filled, and their heart was lifted up. Therefore they forgot me, so I am to them like a lion. Like a leopard, I will lurk beside the way. I will, 
I will fall upon them like a bear robbed of her cubs. I will tear open their breast, and they will devour them like a lion, as a wild beast would rip them open. He destroys you, O Israel, for you are against me, against your helper. Where now is your king to save you in all your cities? Where are your rulers, those of whom you said, Give me a king and princes? I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up, his sin is kept in store. The pangs of childbirth come for him, but he is an unwise son. For at the right time he does not present himself at the opening of the womb. I shall, res I shall ransom them from the power of Sheol, I shall redeem them from death. O oh, death, where are your plagues? O oh, Sheol, where is your sting? Compassion is hidden from my eyes. Though he may flourish against, though he may flourish among his brothers, the east wind, the wind of the Lord, shall come, rising from the wilderness, and his fountains shall dry up, his springs shall be parched, and it, it shall strip his treasury of every precious thing. Samaria shall bear her guilt, because she has rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword. Their little ones shall be dashed in pieces, and their pregnant women ripped open. Chapter 14. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled again, you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity, except what is good, and we will pay with bulls the vows of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, and we will, not, and we will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their apostasy. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like the, I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall take root like the trees of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive, and his fragrance like Lebanon. They shall return and dwell beneath my shadow. They shall flourish like the grain. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. From me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. All right. Revelation 3, 14 to 22. And to the angel of the church in Laodicea write, The words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's creation. I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. Would that you were either cold or hot. So, because you are lukewarm and not hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing, not realizing that you are wretched, pitif pitiable, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white garments, so that you may clothe, your, clothe yourself, and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen, and salve to anoint your eyes, so that you may see. Those whom, you, those whom I love I reprove and discipline, so be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him, and he with me. The one who conquers, I will grant him to sit with me on my throne, as I also conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Psalm 133, a song of a sense of David. Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Proverbs 29, 24, and 25 says, The partner of a thief hates his own life. He hears the curse, but discloses nothing. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Okay, our next reading will be December 14th. This is Joel 1, 2, and 3, Revelation chapter 4, Psalm 134, and Proverbs 29, 26, and 27. All right, and 
Joel 1 through 3 is the whole book of Joel. So we'll read that soon. Have a great day.